Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So I'm very, very excited to be back in the speakeasy. We had a great time in Kentucky. We had a lot of fun shooting upstairs in our living room with the tree and all the other stuff in the background for the holidays. The speakeasy has still got some Christmas decorations, so you're going to have to forgive me. Those are going to last probably until after New Year's. Now, it's really good to have you back here in the speakeasy for a store haul. Haven't done one for a while. I've promised you for a while that I was going to do one, and tonight is the night that we're going to start catching up on store hauls. Let's dive right into what we've been killing. This is a one something I just killed off tonight. And it's a really, really good bottle. Definitely one of my early unicorns, and I'm going to be sad to see this one go. But first off, the first thing that I killed recently, Clyde May's Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This thing came in at 92 proof and really isn't really that great. I didn't love it. I'm not going to get another one of these. It wasn't bad. There was nothing wrong with it flavor-wise. It just didn't excite me. Can't recommend it really. Nothing wrong. If you like it, good for you. I'm glad you found something you like. Glad it's gone. Not going to be buying another one. The next bottle kill we've had lately is a Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Now, this was an absolutely fantastic, fantastic bourbon coming in at 129.2 proof. This thing Fantastic. I absolutely love the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs. They are great, great, great Tennessee whiskeys, bourbon, whatever you call them. They're fantastic buys. For right around $70, you get a single barrel, high proof, really, really quality product. Tastes nothing like your low end Jack Daniels. If you're new to the bourbon game, new to whiskey, don't think that this is going to taste like your cheap Jack Daniels because it will not. This is actually an impressive bottle. I already have a replacement, and the replacement I got is actually from 2016. So I'm really excited to open that one to see, you know, what, what, how, how is the flavor deviated much from uh, 2016 to 2021, almost 2022? Well, we'll find out. The last bottle kill, the one that I literally just poured the last of to film. It's a long time coming, but it's sad to see it go. And that is my old fits eight year bottled and bond this was my first and only old fits i've ever purchased or owned it was fantastic it's a beautiful bottle definitely not getting rid of this bottle just gonna leave it just nice and pristine like this i'll probably end up having this be my uh my infinity bottle or one of my infinity bottles so i'm definitely sad to see this one go heaven hill releases two of these a year at least that's been the pattern and this was from i believe either winter or spring it was the first one of 2021 they've released one since then but i didn't get it or at least it hasn't come here in Virginia and I've not seen it anywhere. Quality product. I don't know how crazy I'd go on secondary for these uh, these old Fitzgerald bottle and bonds, but I definitely would go up a little bit. It's, I'd be willing to pay above retail for these because the value's there on these to a point. Now it's time to start what you came here for. I got some good bottles for you tonight. Some of these came from the Virginia ABC. Some came from other stores that I picked up and some came from either trades or purchases from, from all of you out in the YouTube universe. So thank you for all who helped me one way or the other. I much appreciate it. Let's dive right into it. The first one tonight is actually a Virginia distillery out of Manassas, Virginia. It's the Malarkey 3T Whiskey. Now what this is, it comes in at 80 proof and it's infused with three all natural teas. There's a restaurant around here that I've been to several times with Jamie and they have a cocktail they make with this specific bottle. It is fantastic. They use this and some lemonade and it creates kind of this like spritzy Arnold Palmer. They, I think they put a little bit of like club soda or seltzer water in there. Definitely, definitely a great cocktail. Jamie loves it, so I picked this up. Now next up, nothing special, but never, never gets old. I got a new Wild Turkey 101. Honestly, I don't even need one. I was just in the store and Wild Turkey was there and I hadn't bought one of these new bottles because I have Wild Turkey all the time around the speakeasy. So I hadn't had to buy one of the new ones and I saw the bottle and I wanted to get it. <laughs> just because so for those of you new to the bourbon game this is an absolutely fantastic sipping bourbon it's definitely budget but it tastes way way better than most budget stuff that you can you can find out there don't sleep on it it's fantastic check it out now for those of you that saw the video where i filmed in front of the abc store when i camped out to get my george t stag which i still have over there in a special place in the speakeasy it's not even on the shelves it's it's in its own little special place. But those of you who saw that uh, that video, we shared a, a barrel seagrass, which I brought, and, and we polished that off as a group. So I had to pick up another one because it is the best, probably the best barrel product that I've ever had. Barrel seagrass coming in. This one's coming in at 118.58. It's rye whiskey finished in Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy barrels. To me, the apricot really comes through on the palate, and you end up having this little bit of a rye spice, a great blend of flavors. Then you get this nice, sweet, fruity apricot on the finish. Delicious. It's a fantastic, fantastic rye. I would recommend to really anybody to try out. It's unique. It's interesting. It's fresh. 
Definitely, definitely a solid bottle. Nice little baby Blanton's. Uh, I was able to pick this one up at retail. It's about $30, $32, $33, I believe. Blanton's is solid, nothing wrong with it. it it's, a, it's a solid, nice, sweet, mellow, really good finish. And not great finish, but it's solid, right? It's, there's, there's not much about Blanton's that you can't not enjoy. I'm not a huge Blanton's guy. I don't really regularly sip on it because I don't find it particularly interesting. But at the same time, I can't knock it because it's a great sipping whiskey. This is going to end up going into a giveaway at some point and send it off to somebody else who can't get Blanton's and hopefully they'll enjoy it. There are some bottles coming up that I am so incredibly excited about. I didn't even know about this particular bottle that I'm about to show you. Somebody pointed out to me and asked me, hey, are you getting that in Virginia? And I said, yes. And Eugene said, you know, you getting that down there? Is there any near you? And I looked and there was. And so I was like, heck yeah, man, I'll, I'll get one for you. So I went and picked one up for Eugene. So I sent Eugene his and I found a second bottle for myself. And that's the Habiki Limited Edition, but it's the Habiki Harmony Limited Edition bottle design. And it is absolutely, the bottle themselves have always the big Habiki design, there's this, this like etched glass all the way around. I've always thought it was just a beautiful, beautiful bottle. But then this one to have the painting all the way around it is just gorgeous. I don't know how that's coming through on the camera, but guys, this is such a pretty bottle. I don't know if I'll ever drink it. This is just gonna go on the display shelf. Uh, it's not cheap. Habiki Harmonies usually run for, what, $80, $90. This this one was 150 so it's it's not cheap. Habiki Harmony is a great sipping uh, Japanese whiskey though so if you ever want to get a Japanese whiskey check out the Habiki Harmonies. Don't get the limited edition one. Get a regular one. Start there because that's a much much better place to start. So anyway I'm excited to have this and uh, Eugene hopefully you enjoyed yours. Alberta Premium Cast Strength. I was able to get some last year. I got two bottles last year. One of them I ended up uh, opening and drinking and it's still on the shelf over there. I'm still working on it. The other Alberta Premium I ended up giving away in one of the giveaways, but I'm excited to get this year's. This year's comes in at 127.4. I have to do the math there. And this is a great, great, great rye whiskey. If you're into rye at all, I much prefer this over any of the Whistle Pig products. To me, this is just such a such a strong, strong whiskey. Comes in at $75 is what I paid for MSRP. And I'm very, very excited to have this on the shelves of the Speakeasy. This next bottle, some of you may remember, it's a little special. So some of you may remember in the last video when I went hunting up into Maryland and Delaware, after we had left Baltimore, before we got to DC, uh, Jamie and I wanted to stop and get some food. We pulled over and the total, there ended up being a total wine and more. I ended up finding this bottle, just right place, right time. Totally lucked into it. An E.H. Taylor small batch. Ended up paying $64 for this. Uh, here in Virginia, we don't pay that much, but up in Maryland, at Total Wine, that's what they were selling for. So, so happy to get that. Excited to have this in the shelves of the Speakeasy. I actually gave my last one of these away that I had picked up here in Virginia, and I was getting a little nervous because I really don't have any more backups. This is my only backup of this, of the small batch. So uh, excited to have that. Uh, so when I finish the small batch that's right here behind me, I will have another one to enjoy. All right, the next five bottles are all coming from you. So I was able to work trades or you guys pick stuff up for me. I either paid you for them, I traded you for them. So I'm very, very excited for these five bottles. The first one comes from Chris. Now Chris is local here in Virginia, uh, but he has access to get some stuff that I don't have. He was able to get this for me. It's the Elijah Craig C921. This hasn't, or at least it hadn't hit Virginia when he got it for me. I still don't know if it has hit Virginia. Maybe it has a little bit. Anyway, I haven't seen it personally. Uh, it was $70, so he was able to get it for retail. Got it to me, the C921, coming at 120.2 proof. Uh, you guys know I don't love the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. They're solid. They're pretty good usually, but they're just one of those that I'm just not in love with. But I still buy them because I just kind of like it. I like keeping up with them, and they're, they're pretty tasty pours. So. so the next bottle has kind of an interesting story. So... Escobar, one of the supporters of the channel, he's the one who gets uh, Jamie her Metcalf's Maple. That's our, our Metcalf Maple supplier up in Massachusetts. He was asking me, we were talking on Instagram, and he asked me if it was was worth it. I think it is because it's one of my favorite bottles that I always enjoy. It's kind of hard to get here in Virginia, but some of you have access to him. He was kind of on the fence about whether he was because he heard it was a little bit too tannicky. It's a 15 year old bourbon, so he's a little, a little hesitant to get it. And I said, look, get it, try it. If you don't like it, send it to me and I'll pay you for it. So he opened it, he tried it, he didn't care for it. That's cool. So I got a bottle and I'm totally excited for it. So this is 
Sam Houston 15. Now this one comes out of Massachusetts. It's in Massachusetts 2. Now this one was aged 15 years and six months coming in at 103 proof. So very, very excited for it. You can see there's some tape on the bottle where he secured it during shipping to get it down to me. And uh, you know, obviously I, I'm not willing to, you know, take open balls from everybody, but, but I know Escobar well, so I'm not worried about it. He paid 150 for it and then I paid him 140 for it. So uh, I'm pretty excited to have another Sam Houston 15. Goodbye, old Fitzgerald bottle of the bond. You were delicious. It's a good pour, guys. It's a really, really nice, nice bourbon. So I mentioned earlier how I got Eugene a Habiki Harmony, uh, the limited edition bottle, and I sent that up to him. Well, he sent me these two bottles, and that was part of a deal we made. He sent me a Red Breast 12 cast strength Irish whiskey. Now, this is an Irish whiskey. Red Breast 12, the regular one, comes in at like 86, 90, 92 proof. Can't remember, it's over there. Anyway, it, it's a really, really good, good Irish whiskey. The cast strength is supposed to be amazing, and I've never had it before. This particular one comes in at 115.2 proof Irish whiskey. That is amazing. Normally, Irish whiskey is just like scotches. You can't hardly find them over 100 proof, or at least over even 90, 92 proof. So to get one at 115 proof, I'm so, so stoked for this. So Eugene, thank you so much for this one. And let's see what the other bottle he got me was. Jack Daniels 10. Very, very excited to, to get another one. So now I've got the Jack Daniels 10 year that I'm sipping on that you guys saw in our uh, bourbon of the best bourbons of 2021 video that we did on Christmas day. Um, that's the one that was there. This is a new one. Haven't opened this one yet. Very, very excited for it. 97 proof. I would recommend this as a, anytime you see this under $200, I think it's worth it. Yes, $200 is a lot of money for bourbon. Is it really worth $200? Probably not, but it's good. I would be willing to go for $200 on this one if you're kind of a collector guy. If you think that's stupid, I totally understand. Don't buy it. Go get other stuff because you can get some amazing bourbons. Again, $40, $50, $60. $60. You can actually absolutely, absolutely go to town buying fantastic bourbons. So sometimes you just get lucky in life, and that's how I feel about this. Uh, Craig, Craig Stir, a longtime supporter of the channel, uh, great dude up in New Jersey, just reached out to me and was like, hey, do you have any more of those 17, 92, 12 years? And I just happened to get one from somebody in trade and he traded me this for it along with some other stuff. But it was, uh, that's the bulk of the trade. Elmer T. Lee. <laughs> I am so excited for this thing. When I got it, it was sealed. Uh, but I opened it and poured a two ounce sample and sent it to somebody. I haven't actually had this yet, uh, even though I poured the sample. Actually, I might have had a little, uh, a little, a little dram of it when I poured the sample. I can't remember. It sounds like something I would do, so maybe I did. Anyway, I'm so excited to get another one of these. You guys know I killed my last one that I was able to pick up here in Virginia at retail. So this was basically a 1792 12 year plus. Uh, a bunch of stuff from the whiskeyrow.shop website that we run where we sell Whiskey Row merchandise. Guys, this is really, really good. Is it $400 good, $500 good? No, it's not. If you're chasing these up into the four or $500, that's way too much. If you've never had one, you're dying to try one, maybe $250, it's really a $40 bottle, right? I mean, that's retail on this thing is $40. I, I would probably buy this all day long at $200. Anything over 200, I probably wouldn't get it. It's one of the better Buffalo Trace products, in my opinion, that is sort of available that's not BTAC. So uh, if you're in the market, grab one. It's really, really good. I'm excited to have one in the speakeasy because I didn't have one because I drank the last one. Craig, sir, thank you so much for this. Thank you to all of you for supporting the channel. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. I'm so excited for 2022 for all that we're going to do here on Risky Row. Thank you for your support. If you end up liking this video, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and until next time, find a bottle you love. <laughs>